September is Vascular Disease Awareness Month, and while going to see a doctor isn't always top priority for men, it's one of the many things that they really should be doing for themselves and for others. We're here at the Minimally Invasive Vascular Center. Um, this center was built in 2018, the only one of its kind, okay? There's not one that's an outpatient, unaffiliated with a hospital, a certified vascular center like this in the United States and many other countries as well. Dr. Jeffrey Dormu is the founder, chief executive officer, and lead vascular surgeon at Minimally Invasive Vascular Center. This is a model for a lot of other centers that are coming up now. This is a way that you can get your, uh, uh, see a subsurgical specialty, get evaluated, uh, and get treated without having to go through the rigors of the hospitals. Dr. Dormu is calling men to action, asking them to take their vascular health seriously and be more proactive. We tend to avoid doctors in general, especially men. Men specifically and African American men, uh, I mean, they, they run. <laughs> they run the opposite way. We need to talk about erectile dysfunction. This is something that in some households, even in some Relationships and marriage is considered taboo. Men, um, this is something that we should not be ashamed of. Uh, there's over 45% of men over the age of 50 who suffer some degree of erectile dysfunction. Uh, the beautiful thing is it can be treated minimally invasively, uh, and even more importantly, it can be properly diagnosed. Many times when we go to the urologist or a men's clinic, um, we're just getting treated treatment and we're not understanding why we're having this problem. Uh, here at the Minimally Invasive Vascular Center, uh, we can give you a prompt diagnosis to find out what is the cause. Sometimes it's one cause, sometimes it's many, but we can narrow it down and then we can put you on the right treatment path and take care of that erectile dysfunction problem. Beyond ED, vascular disease and cardiovascular disease are more pressing life-threatening issues. Vascular disease, also coupled with cardiovascular disease, is the number one killer in America. Uh, it kills millions of people every year. The different risk factors that are involved in vascular and cardiovascular disease uh, is smoking, which is the number one, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, and also being over the age of 50. Common conditions include? We've heard of lymphedema, where we see people with increased swelling of the legs, discoloration of the legs. Uh, sometimes they actually look like tree trunks. Um, PAD, which older populations call hardening of the arteries, uh, is usually the common uh, issue when it comes to the arterial circulation. And when it comes to veins, usually you have either leaking of the veins, what we call a reflux disease, or a DVT, which is a clot that can lead to vascular devastation by breaking loose and going to your lungs. That is why it is critical that men address any symptoms they are having early. Correcting them and getting back to a healthy state of being doesn't have to be scary, especially here at Minimally Invasive Vascular Center. You don't want to wait till this vascular devastation happens, meaning stroke, erectile dysfunction, heart attack, kidney failure, or the loss of a limb. Dr. Dormu says up to 97% of cases never have to see open surgery which used to be one of the only options for many. We can go in without having to cut a patient opposed to open surgery, which was pretty much the norm. Uh, it was very common, uh, especially five, 10 years ago, and still is in some institutions. But here at the Minimally Invasive Vascular Center, uh, we pride ourselves in fixing the circulation from head to toe without having to cut patients at all. Uh, we know that uh, that helps in their recovery time. It helps in their quality of life. Um, and, you know, people in general are just afraid of surgery. They can get by with minimally invasive surgery, needle puncture stick without having to be cut, without having to worry about an amputation. And uh, they walk in and within hours they walk out and pretty much heal within a matter of hours. For more information, call the Minimally Invasive Vascular Center or visit MIVCMD.com. We'll be right back right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>